The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. Spear Life is brought to you by Naui Worldwide. Dive safety through education. Right now on Spear Life. We are once again chasing big fish with Bill D'Antuano out of Naples, Florida. We are in search of big black grouper. Two of us shoot a giant, but only one of us bring a giant back to the boat. We chill, we grill, we spend time with Bill. We shoot, we hook, we let someone else cook. And most importantly, we eat. Hey, shark. I want to breathe. I'm having way too much fun. Keeps getting better. I feel so good. I do not want to sit in the rain. Ah, boo. Way too much fun. Are we going to eat good tonight? Look at that big boy. This is way too much fun. I'm here to enjoy myself. I'll go tomorrow. He's a fighter. Three sharks on this thing? Good possibility, Jerry. How you doing, man? Now I know what you're thinking. Why is Gary sitting in the rain? Gary, come in here and stay warm. I'm ready to party. Party! Let's fill you in on the rest of the story and then maybe it'll all make sense. Oh, we got there, Gary. We got a little uh AP that me and you shot the other day, and we're putting a little uh, sushi, uh, sashimi style on it with a little ponzu sauce and some wasabi. Wasabi! Oh, the rash and the AP. <laughs> the AP sushimi. Little ribeye going action here. We're gonna marinate them, and then we're gonna eat them. <laughs> 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 He just dumped that big old pile of goo on me. Me and the boys are once again in Naples, Florida. <laughs> Bayshore Inn and Docks has put us up in the perfect location with easy access to the ocean. After stuffing our faces and sleeping for a few hours, we walk out the back door and meet Captain Bill D'Antuano at the dock. Billy boy. What's up? Back, back for What's more up, punishment. Baby? Round two. <laughs> Round two, man. What's Round up, buddy? Two. Who's gonna get the big one this time? Oh, yeah. I get the big one every time. What's up, man? What's up, bud? What's happening? What's up, man? See ya. How you doing, buddy? You got a different boat this time. Yeah, man. Man, I see you got gear ready. Ready to yep. roll. Look at you. Good to go. Man with the plan. Yep. We got your pretty boat, Daddy. Mm -hmm. So I know we got our strategy together on the phone. We're just we ready to rock and roll. We need to go other than grab a little bit more of our crap. We ready to rock. Uh, yeah, man. Okay. Just gotta get the fish. Um, do we need to fuel up this morning? No. Okay. Yay. Nice. So we're ready to just head on out. Yep. yep. Cool, cool. All right. All right. Let's grab a couple more things and get rolling. Our last trip with Bill had us in search of African Pompano, also known as an AP. Gary had the first encounter with an AP and scored. Kobe and I had two opportunities and fumbled both times. Looks like it's my turn now. But then luckily for me, I had a third chance. And supposedly the third time is the charm as I finally got my first ever AP. They say bragging rights can only last for a day after you shoot a giant fish. This time we're after big black grouper and I'm hoping to brag again. I got a better one. Well, some of us can't. Some of us have to stay up and, you know. I got a better one. <laughs> you know what they say, early to bed gets the biggest fish or something like that. Yeah. Do I have some fun, fellas? This is one little area, it's not like we gotta swim this ledge. You know, all this stuff out here is just like, Live bottom or hard bottom, and you're gonna go down and come right back up. There's no large areas here. Shoot and go. Drop down, shoot a couple fish, come back. 
All these spots are pretty damn good, so. Okay, Gary, here we go. Got him. Dang it, he got off. Here's a nice grouper. Man, that's a nice one, Gary. Oh, here's a giant black grouper. Dang it! He got off. Man, I think I have the curse of Kobe down here with me right now. Got another nice one, John. Got him. John, let's head up. We need to check your gun. Hey, you what, man? I'm over these floppers. I'm, that's the last fish I'm gonna lose. What'd you I'm get? Like, he had a big black and he came right off. How big of a All black? All I threw him. I mean, it's a nice black. Oh, damn. Jeez. Nice red. Hey! Did the black go back in the hole? Like, is it still down there? Yeah, he went down under a ledge and he got real dusty and I don't know if he stayed. We should go not. back then and get him. He's, he's gonna stay in that hole. Well, you go get him. Let's go get him. Kobe will do the cleanup work on him. Time out. I can barely find fish when they're swimming right in front of me. And now Bill thinks I can go into the big, dark, deep blue ocean and find John's fish? Come on, man. Coming up on Spear Life. Yep, that's Kobe Treasure right there. He looks good on that big fish, doesn't he? This segment was brought to you by Neptonic Spear Fishing. Solid spear fishing equipment you can trust. This segment is brought to you by Bart's Bay Armor. Fear not what lies beneath. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Naples, Florida is paradise for vacationers and the people who live here. It's also a great place to spearfish. One that got away. Yeah, we can get, that'd be, yeah, we can get that big black, that'd be awesome. I mean, especially if we just tip out all my shaft, so go down and clean up and get them, that'd be freaking perfect. I appreciate John's confidence in me to find his fish, but I'm pretty sure we all know the outcome here. Kobe, like, be careful when you get in the hole because it gets stirred up again and that's game over. So we gotta like that's stay the top of it. Once it gets stirred up around those holes, you're done. I have to agree with Kobe. Sending him down to find John's fish is pretty funny. That ain't ever gonna happen. In other news, don't forget about my fish. It's not all about Kobe. Adios. Good luck, brother. Adios, amigo. I still can't believe they think I'm gonna find this fish. Do it, do it like. Hello, where am I? Do it, do it like. Do it, do it like. Bill and I searched the bottom and looked in the holes and under the ledges. Our nightmare was coming true. The bottom was getting stirred up and we couldn't see anything. Then I hear Bill screaming. I couldn't understand what he was saying. But I could see what he was screaming about. And I couldn't believe my eyes. Bill pulled the fish out. I shot the fish. And the rest was history. Johnny's going to owe me for this one. This is a monster. God, this is a monster. The monster. We got him. Oh, Look at that. That is a 30 pounder, babe. <laughs> yeah, he is right there. Just in case I haven't already said this, Johnny owes me big time. Dude, look at the Good size job, of this Bubba. Thing, That's a beast! <laughs> Holy, Holy shit! Man, doggy! Bill had it by the tail, so he's shooting <laughs> it! Oh, nuts! That's the one I, I shot, dude. Holy crap! Fish, That's man. a lot of hammer, dude. It came right off. That's your biggest by a long stretch. There you go, buddy! It's twice as big as a black you've ever shot. Bill hit that first. I still can't believe Kobe found John's fish. 
I'm in shock. Dude, this is crazy. That's a giant. Kobe shot him and it never moved. It was like, like ah! <laughs> <laughs> right there, doggy, doggy, right there, doggy, doggy. Oh my God. Dude, that right there. It was worth it, wasn't it, Kobe? I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but Kobe is the man right now. Dude, that's twice, at least twice the size of any black you've ever shot. Oh, oh. Holy cow. Of course, I did give him an assist slowing the fish down. That was a community fish. The one yeah. that way. I ain't know I was so aggravated when I came up with the heat got off. So much for our. That would have been my big. That would have been. That would been my biggest black. Call me the boss, the man, the king, the legend. How about if we just call you Lucky? Now, if you shoot another fish that big, then I'll call you the man, Kobe. All right, Bill, so tell us about the spot. Uh, we dove it like maybe a month ago with uh, some muttons on it, a red grouper, mostly a black grouper. Muttons, maybe red. Yep, yep. Maybe black. Maybe a black. Well, hopefully, uh, Get you a shot of the button here. All right, good to go. Let's go. A lot of fish down here, John. Yeah, there is. I just hope I get another chance at a big black or red. There's some good mangroves in this hole, John. I'm not seeing anything else down here. I'd say we take a couple of these for the hook and cook tonight. Sounds good, Gary. You heard them. They say they only saw mangroves down there. Let old Kobe go down there and have a look around. You'd be amazed what these eyes could see. I will keep this short. I dropped in, swam straight to the bottom. A red came up to me. I shot him and went back to the boat. That was easy as one, two, three. Red? You bastard! Hey. <laughs> He's laughing. Yeah. He shot a red. He said you were gonna go down and shoot a, uh, a red. Oh. oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a fatty. Nice red. Nice shot, buddy. Daddy. There you go. Kobe. Ow. Shoots a big black, yeah. then he goes and shoots a big fat red. <laughs> a lot of fish or just a small spot? I don't know. <laughs> Went down. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah, I had to stab in his head a couple of times. He was brazen now. That boy has a lucky horseshoe stuffed in his wetsuit. Got the big black, got the big red. Yeah. You're a grouper crazy. Pretty happy. <laughs> he has a lucky horseshoe stuffed somewhere because it's definitely not skill that's got him shooting all these big fish. I say we got. Uh, we, we, we covered a hook and hook on the first dive and then some. <laughs> there you go, got you a fatty. Oh no, Kobe's gonna be king of Naples again. Did you hear that? John called me the king in Naples. I like the sound of that. Kobe the king. Uh, walk in like a boss with my money at. Walk in like a boss with my money at. Walk in like a boss with my money at. See me and I'm looking like a hundred rats. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Coming up on Spearlight. Gary and I dive one last time, then we take our success to the Snook Inn where they do some cooking. This segment was brought to you by Furuno USA. When you're serious about fishing. <laughs> While the sun gives joy to the beach goers in Naples, Gary and I get ready for one last dive 10 miles offshore. All right, Johnny, let's make this quick. I'm looking for some of that fish tonight. There's one. There's two. Three. Four. All right, Gary, I give up. You killed it. Let's go. 
a fish for five weeks. I may not have shot a black as big as Kobe, but I did shoot a nice red. All right there, Bill. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this may be our best day ever with you. Yeah, I'd you, say you're so. going back to you <laughs> going back to last year. Yeah. Finally got the black grouper, a good one. I was semi happy to see him, knowing that he came off. I'm, I'm like, man, if y'all can get him, that'd be really cool. So at least he went down. Yep. At least he'll be on the dinner plate tonight. We gonna eat it. Yep. Got the big black down, man. I wonder what he's gonna weigh. Probably about 30, I'm guessing. Oh, uh, I think maybe he's pretty, I think he's heavier than 30. I got left to bust out 32 scale. and a half. I've been cramming ice five. <laughs> it's always nice having up with hook and cook, but it's even nicer when you got up with hook and cook and a bunch of take home. Yeah, let's clean gear, clean fish, pick up tanks, and get ready for the big hook and cook. Let's do it. All right, guys. Well, Bill almost got him. Yeah. 33 and a half. Oh, God. That's a big 33 pound yeah. fish. Swinging and banging now. Swinging and banging. So this is that Browning, yeah, so that Browning Telecom I was telling you about, like everywhere we go, we're always leaving gear on the boat. Strap this bad boy on, it'll do video or picture, and the nice thing about it is, is as soon as it takes a picture, it sends it straight to my cell phone. So yeah, so since we're leaving gear on there, man, just set that up there tonight. Cool. All right. Shit. All right, Bob. Well, we'll see you uh, in a little bit for the hook. All right. Later that day, we bring our fish to the Snook Inn. We meet Chef Tony Newton to discuss our options. Yeah, we usually just kind of like to turn Chef loose and like, pick it up a few different ways. So you can just kind of do your face. All right. I think I made it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Enjoy it, guys. Thank you. Looking forward to it. The Snook Inn has been Marco Island's famous landmark for over 30 years. Do what you got to do. Go where you want to go. Be who you want to be. Cause it sure feels good to me Say what you wanna say Lemon pepper grouper, black and grouper Then we did the crispy fried grouper Which we're famous for Coming up We get back in the water looking for another big black And after that, we find out the real reason Why Gary was sitting in the rain This segment was brought to you by Sunburn Drink. Unburn your sunburn. Of fish are going to be in like two or three different spots. Right, they're in the little So go to one spot, and then once you scare them up there, go to the next one, and then just keep going back to back and forth, but it's spaced out like 100 feet. I believe this is the second trip ever where Kobe has outdone Gary and I. At this point, I was ready to throw in the towel and let Kobe have the win, so we could go to the sandbar and have a few drinks. but we probably won't be seeing any big blacks on this dive. Right now, it's all about the mangroves. Sorry for shooting the biggest fish, guys. Not really. Gary, let's just shoot quantity. Then we can claim victory over Kobe. There's one. Two. Three. Four. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. There's another one for me. And another! Gary's filling his stringer too! Okay, fellas, 
fellas. I think we have enough fish here to feed five families. So I think it's party time. Yeah. Yeah, shots of big fatties. So I was on a roll there. I was like, oh, I heard a snap, snap, snap. Everywhere I look, it was Johnny. Everyone's gonna pay. That's slap. Nice. It got real dirty. Dirty turd. Mangoes. The mango. Uh, one, two, three, four, five and a half. Five and a half. <laughs> our last dive didn't put many giants in front of us, but it did give us plenty of fish to bring home to our families. Got some more fishies for the cooler. Now, that was fun. It's time to pop it. Yeah, man. Get the sand bar, baby. Oh, we snagged it. Woo. For Gary, Kobe, and I, success isn't always measured in how many we shoot or who gets the biggest fish. That's a fish! Yes, we're competitive, but when it comes down to it, we always wish success for each other. Yeah, doggy! This was the second time ever Kobe brought the biggest fish up to the boat. Got the big black, got the big red. Yeah, I was a little jealous, but I was also happy for Kobe breaking his personal record. That's a giant. Spear Life is about three guys making memories and enjoying our passion together. It's also about relaxation away from the stresses of life. The moment we arrived at the sandbar, the clouds rolled in and the rain came. And then there lies the question. Why was Gary sitting on the back of the boat in the rain? I'm ready to party. Party! When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When Mother Nature gives you rain, don't let it ruin your fun. Don't let it ruin your day. Sit in it, soak it up, and tell the people around you about the giant fish your buddy shot and how proud you are of him. We got a 33 and a half pound black. Yeah, even if he is a knucklehead most of the time.